The man police have been tracking as a murder suspect is now dead. Leo Scott died from a single gunshot wound following a standoff situation earlier today. Scott was wanted in connection to the murder of Valencia Compton, the mother of his three-year-old son. Police say he killed Compton in South Carolina and drove their child to Columbus in her car. Scott had been on the run now for three weeks. News 39 was the first news crew on the scene today. Our Laura Ann Sills joins us now live from 54th Street. And Laura Ann, when did police learn that Leo Scott was inside the apartment? We're told that Columbus police received the tip this morning that Leo Scott was in this apartment behind me off of 54th Street. When they arrived, police chief Ricky Boren tells us two women identified Leo Scott. The man South Carolina and Georgia officials have been looking for for weeks. <laughs> Screams filled the streets as family and friends of Leo Scott learned the murder suspect had taken his own life. Columbus police and U.S. Marshals were serving a warrant for Scott at the Lemon Tree Apartments in Columbus for the South Carolina murder of Valencia Compton. Officials began to question two women they found inside the apartment where officials believed Scott was hiding. Because the lady kept asking him, do you know this man, do you know this man? And they were like, no, no. Witnesses then heard a single gunshot. Police called in SWAT members. They surrounded the building and set up on a hill. But officials found Leo Scott dead in a second floor bedroom of the apartment. We do not think that he fired on officers. We think that it was a single gunshot to take his own life. Police Chief Ricky Boren said this was not the outcome they hoped for. We were hoping that we could uh, take him and put him in custody and take him back to the Carolinas to stand trial. Friends of Valencia Compton say Scott was jealous of her success. She wasn't struggling no more. She wasn't in the hood no more. She, she came up, you know, I graduated, went to the Navy. He couldn't, he, it, he, I guess it was, it was bothering too bad. After questioning, the two women who were in the apartment with Leo Scott have been charged with hindering the apprehension of a criminal and two other drug-related charges. Those two women are Kimberly Gosa and Rachel Banks. I'm told that some of the neighbors here in the apartment complex have been threatened. They said they had no idea that Leo Scott was in the complex. Just those two women, Kimberly Gosa and Rachel Banks, who are now being held at the Muskogee County Jail. Live in Columbus, Laura Ann Sills, WTVN, News Leader 9. All right, and thank you. And this is a